After class, Lauren and I were sitting in the garden chatting. She was waiting for her cousin Wilhelm. The last couple of weeks, he's been accompanying her home for safety. I don't know if a student magician will be able to handle a maniac, but will be able to handle a maniac. But some protection is better than none. While I wasn't going home because I couldn't decide whether I should go to Professor Gladstone, to be honest, I was afraid of him, but I was afraid of my uncle as well. All I had to do was decide who I'm more afraid of. You surprised me today, Mia. I can't believe you said that straight to Gladstone's face. I almost fell under the table. Oh, Lauren, if you only knew how much I regret opening my mouth now. I understand. But you should have seen the faces on Louise and Rosemary. I thought they were going to explode with anger. No wonder. After etiquette was over, I noticed Rosemary started heading my way, her expression showing that she was up to no good. But to my surprise, Louise grabbed her by the sleeve and didn't let her come up to me. They Then they just stood there for a while, whispering and giving me dirty looks. So, are you going to talk to Gladstone, Mia? I don't even know. In any case, I'll wait for Wilhelm to pick you up and then decide. Oh, you and Wilhelm haven't met. We should fix that. He's great, you'll see. He's studying magic at the Academy of Science and Magic. So I guess that's one of two topics, science or magic, and he chose magic. That's that's cool. <clears throat> Rumors say he's a top student on his course. On the course. Wilhelm is my uncle's son, a pure-blooded elf. Though Wilhelm is my cousin, I like him in a way that's a bit more than cousinly. I... I, I you know what I mean. Okay, um... <clears throat> okay, that's... I mean, there's the, ha there's the half-blood thing, and then there's this. That's a little uncomfortable, Lauren. I'm kind of judging you with your red hair. Now she's blushing. Bl blushing. Actually, it wasn't that hard to guess that Lauren likes Wilhelm. She talked about him a lot. He's only his, his, your cousin. That's uh, okay. Um, Alright. Is he really as great as you say he is? He once rescued his classmates from a wild wolf while they were picking herbs from the herb, er, herb, herbarium in the woods. His inventiveness was the only thing that saved the lives of twelve students while the teacher was hiding on a tree. Really? Did he tell you that? Of course. How else could I have known? The magic botanics teacher asked Wilhelm not to tell anyone so he wouldn't get fired from the magic academy. But of course, Wilhelm told me... He's amazing, you see. Do you like anyone? Perhaps some elf or human? Robin immediately came to mind. <clears throat> yeah, the guy I rejected earlier. Um, I'm, I'm not into him, but I mean, I'm kind of into him. Robin is always so caring and delicate. I can always rely on him. Even though it's not love in the full sense of the word, I could mention him. Mmm... Nah. Okay, I'm back. Gonna have to wrap this up soon. Uh, oh, Lauren, you know I'm not... You know I'm not one of those pretty girls who have the swarms of guys following them. I don't have any secret admirers either, so my personal life is unbelievably boring. I'm sure you have plenty of that ahead of you. You're very attractive, so don't worry about it. In a while, you won't know where to hide from all the admirers. Sounds like someone is kind of digging me a... Already, if you get what I'm saying. Lauren always tries to support me. It's so nice of her. I wish they'd hurry up because I'm bored. But right now, admirers are the last thing on my mind. What do you think? How much will I have to bear from Gladstone if I go see him? If I were you, I wouldn't make him any angrier. But I can't give you any advice. To go or not to go is only up to you. Sorry. Good evening, ladies. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Cousin Wilhelm. Oh, you could never disturb. <laughs> <clears throat> Darling cousin, you are too kind to me as usual. Sounds like, sounds like British Robin. And who is this sweet lady with you? You must be Mia, my cousin's friend. 
You're right, Wilhelm. This is Mia Silverlight. I told you about her. Glad to meet you. Wilhelm gallantly... <laughs> Wilhelm gallantly kissed my hand. I've heard a lot about you too, sir. Oh, don't call me sir. After all, I'm only slightly older than you. I hope you weren't told anything bad about me. Hmm. Lorne only speaks kindly of you, sir. I mean, you. Oh, baby Lorne always thought too highly of me. I'm afraid I don't deserve it. Wilhelm turns out to be quite flirtatious. So, Lauren, you're walking home with Cousin Wilhelm today, right? Yes, but I've already told you that. My father wants me to be extra safe because of that murderer, you know. And Cousin Wilhelm just offered his help. How nice of him. I think so, too. Oh, no need to embarrass me. I'm only doing what I must. Besides, I can never turn down a walk on the fresh air under the warm sun. Especially if there's potential danger right around the corner. I love life in all of its variety, you see. Not many people can enjoy it like I can. Especially if it's my little cousin... Especially if my little cousin is involved. I mean, it's my duty pr to protect her from potential danger. After all, who can do it if not me? I wonder why Lauren... I, I wonder why Lauren... Why, likes Wilhelm so much. Too gallant, too talkative, too well-dressed. I'm not a fan of labeling people, but Wilhelm looks like a tool. <laughs> but Wilhelm looks and acts like a typical sharp-dressed playboy. I never could have thought that Lauren likes that type. Could it be because he's a magician? But I've never noticed her having a soft spot for such flashiness. Unfortunately, it's time for us to set out. Right, Lauren? In any case, it was very nice to meet you, Mia. <laughs> yeah, it really is time to go home. Till tomorrow, Mia. See you soon. All right, Lauren. See you too. Having said goodbye, Lauren and her cousin Wilhelm disappeared beyond the Academy's gates. To be honest, my friend's cousin wasn't at all how I'd imagined him. I thought he would be more serious, more mature. Is that it? I definitely wasn't expecting to see such a talkative hipster. Well, who am I to judge? After all, Lauren has known him far longer than I have. Hardly can I adequately evaluate a person after seeing them just once. I'll stay out of it, especially since I have my own problems to deal with. For starters, I have to decide whether I should go to Professor Gladstone now and explain myself after everything I've told him. I think I'll be I think he'll be very angry after all. I did call him with an incompetent I did call him an incompetent teacher. Okay, I won't go to see Gladstone, I'd rather explain myself to my uncle. I'd better not make Professor angry and go see him. I think I'm gonna see the professor. I probably should have saved before because I wanted to save on this screen, but I can't. But anyway, I'm gonna see the professor. I need to try to somehow fix the situation with Gladstone. I've made yet another mistake. So we are going to save there. Yes, I'm sure. And we will pick this up next time because some stuff came up and I've got to go now. But I will continue this and if, uh, you know, if I keep going with this game and if, you know, hopefully things get a little more interesting. It's kind of boring in the beginning, I know. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video, though. I'm trying to put my own stupid little spin on it. Uh, if you're enjoying it, that's great. I might keep doing it. Anyway, thank you guys again. Peace out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more, feel free to check out one of these other videos you see here on the screen. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can also follow me by looking up The Portly Gamer on the social networks below.